Product Design document, there are quite a few things you should be aware of. First, on the right side of my screen, you see our Projects Manager. You'll always have a project open whenever you're working on any data inside a Top Solid. It's a requirement of the system. However, you don't always have to be looking at the project. For example, I could click the thick bar right here with my left mouse button to minimize it. You can see it's still accessible just by hovering on the tab. I can come in here, I could right click make new data on the fly. As soon as I'm done, the tab goes away. If I pin this back up, I could undock this. If I undock this, I can now dock this on the left side, I could dock it across the top, or I could drag this off to the right onto another monitor or left or above wherever you have your multiple monitors laid out. Okay? If I go here and I drag it back, it's now docked. Next thing I want to point out is the Entities Manager and Operations Manager you see on the left side of my screen. Now, I often work within both of these managers, and you will too. The Entities Manager's job is to manage the organization of all the information within a top solid document. This is similar to layers, only it's full of steroids and chocolatey goodness. In all reality, what it is is this. It is an automatic management of information. Cool. Let's take a deeper look at the Entities tree for a second. For example, maybe I'm looking for the XZ plane, but I don't see it on the screen right now, so how do I get to it? I go into my planes folder, I can hit the plus sign next to it, and there is XZ. Cool. I could right click on it right there and create a sketch, or maybe I just want to show it. I can left click on the checkbox next to it, and now it's shown permanently until I turn that off. Maybe there's a sketch I want to modify, so I go to my sketches here, hit the plus sign, use my up and down arrow key, and if you watch the part on the side, you'll see all the sketches highlight as I mouse over them. Very cool again. Maybe that's the sketch you want to edit. You can right click on it, choose edit. Fantastic. Next, I have my history tree at the bottom. We call this the operations manager. Our history is a little bit different than most softwares out there. I like to say we manage history the right way. Our history is inverted. Our first features at the bottom of the tree, our last features at the top. And we did it this way because typically when you're designing in a parametric solution, you're typically tweaking the last few features that you added. So why not give you quick access to everything? Other than that, you can roll back in time, you can reorder history, you can edit features right from the tree here. For example, maybe I want to take pocket four, right click and edit it. Just like that, I can grab onto the grip, extrude that deeper, done, models up to date. Cool. Next, I want to talk about how to access these. Because of course mine were up, so that made it easy. But if you're a new user to Top Solid, that's not on by default. So how do you access those? Well, there's two ways. First, you can go up to the seven icon at the top of the screen, go to the view menu, and here's a list of all available managers. For example, I'm going to reactivate the operations manager. A power user trick to activate your managers is to go to the black bar of any existing manager that's visible, right mouse button click, and you can activate a manager again that way. Now in this case, my managers came up side by side. Maybe I want my operations tree docked like I had it below or before down here at the bottom. I can do that just by left mouse button selecting the black bar, holding on to it, and dragging and dropping down to the bottom. And like that, now I have them organized the way I want. And again, just like my part manager on the right, I can click on that thick bar in order to minimize it. So now I'm just at my top solid design screen. Last thing I'm going to spend time going over with you is the icon bars across the top. All of these tabs are unique to a top solid design document. These functions will only be accessible within a top solid design document. This is part of the way the interface functions to help guide you to the right tools you need at that moment in time. Quick idea, the home tab of course you guys are familiar with now, new documents, open projects and so on. The 2D sketcher is to create any sketch in a two-dimensional environment. The 3D sketcher is a spatial sketcher. Shape creation tools for solid modeling, surfacing, free shape design, and so on. Construction geometries over here, planes, frames, axes, and so on. Please also note that every tab also has a drop down menu. Maybe you're not an icon person. Great, go to the drop down menu.